Hello, welcome to Reading Rainbow. I'm LeVar Burton. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on, everybody? It's Bruce with Diego and Cruz and Novella, brought to you by MVK Photography out of Knoxville, Tennessee. Uh, yeah, we got a sponsorship already because we move quick. Episode three, bam, we do shit. Now, some of you may notice it's a little change. Well, actually, there's two changes. One, first two episodes, we all wore tank tops. Huh? Why? Because it was the beginning of April and it was 75 and sunny. And I don't know, my, my hands going up like this, I don't know how to do my hands. And it was warm. It snowed yesterday. Yep. And it's chilly again today, so I got t t-shirt on. He's got a t-shirt on. She's got some kind of weird button up on. That's, yeah. T-shirt? Yeah, T-shirt. Shirt. Shirt. So what do we got going on today? What's uh, today's... Dogfish head! Go um, ahead. Oh my goodness. Get it. Come on. Today, dogfish head! I love yes. dogs. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So we're all going to be drinking dogfish head. Bumping. Bumping. Huh. Wrong <laughs> with a little bit of bumping car. We're going to have dogfish head. Super 8, Super Goza. We are. Yeah, yeah. So the Dogfish Head is out of Milton, Delaware. They were established in 1995. Is that close to Dover? Don't ask me questions. We're not asking questions. We're, we're there will be no questions! <laughs> there will be no, no questions, questions today. <laughs> um, they were actually bought out in 2019. I'm not sure they were bought out, but they did become um, part of Boston Brewing, which is Sam Adams. Uh, however, they are still stationed out there in Delaware. What we're having today is one of their many, many, many beers. We make 262,000 barrels a year, which is just enough for you and me. So everybody yeah, else can have something else. Kind of. <laughs> Super goose! It's not a goose. Oh. Not how you smell goose. Oh. Okay. <laughs> cool the can's really cool. Super 8 bad. Super Goza is made with eight different heroic fruits, as I'll show you on the can here. They're super, super Oops. heroes. Safety. Flying around. We need a hero to drink with me now. Super Goose. We need someone else to drink with us now. Any anybody else? Anybody <laughs> else, please. <laughs> Literally anyone. I am the backbone of this show. <laughs> nah, I'm really not. It's, it's just, <laughs> we're just complaining about your back. <laughs> I'm just, yeah. You want to talk about yours? Yeah. No, I, I can't see you. My back I is broken. I got a strong back. Mm. Got strong Stronger than yours. Got strong <laughs> elbows like this. Oh boy, so anyway, well, it goes of course. <laughs> uh, the main ingredient, or one of the main ingredients, is salt. So it's gonna be salty, acidic, which is awesome. I, oh, saltiest thing on this fucking planet. But it's made with salt from the Red Sea. We've got prickly pear, mango, boysenberry, mm. blackberry, raspberry, elderberry, and kiwi juices. Juices, mm. and it even has some toasted quinoa in there. And toasted what? Quinoa. Quinoa. Okay. Quinoa. Quinoa. And I love their little manifesto. I thought it was hilarious. It's off-centered ales for off-centered people. Yeah, we know a couple of those. Not me. Straight and narrow. Just because you're in the center yeah. doesn't mean that you're. A you should appreciate person. it. It's like too like when you get bookshelves and they're just not as this, and then you get like a big, big autobiography. It's too tall. Right, so your bookshelves are just a little bit shorter, and then the, the book is so tall. Sometimes you start talking, nice. and you should just quit. Nah. <laughs> no, I'm just making fun of being six foot five. <laughs> I'm going to ask him to... Um, don't call me a tree. Someone can read this. I'm not sure if you'll know how to pronounce the word. Which so one? Maybe. <laughs> sessionable, right? Yeah, Our this sessionable is goes a brewed with a bevy of heroic fruits, and Queen Yaw pours a deep, vibrant red with an ample, nice... <laughs> addition of Hawaiian sea salt. Is that what you want me to read? Yeah, oh, good job. Up, you did it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, that's all. Anything else? Nope, that's no, all. That's that's all. Right. All right. So, y'all want to pour them? Let's pour up. Don't Look, pour in your own. Now. I don't need no help no more. Yeah, that is some floaties. Did you backwash? Did you pre-backwash? How would I backwash? You haven't even opened the can yet. 
Let's see. Ooh, yeah. What, what would that? be causing that? The fruit. Yep. Well, only the if they let... <laughs> Quinoa. Quinoa. It's the super dog only fish. Only if they didn't filter it well. What would it be the only reason it would have some of that? But I'm assuming that's what it is. It probably just some skins. It's fine. It's not going to hurt you. Yeah. Skins? Yeah, just some... Fruit skins? It's like when we were juicing. Game. Right? That's kind of what, what it is. And it's actually pretty hazy. Like you I'm not so sure that well. there are floaties in there. I just don't think you wash these. I I'm going to go with them. that for 300, Alex. Yeah. I washed What them. is don't know how to work my dishwasher for 600? I am the dishwasher. <laughs> All leading Y'all know I don't, point. I don't yeah. use the dishwasher. So we ready to drink now? I'm still I'm considering smelt. this color and it stuff. It's crazy. Good. I can smell it when I pop the can open. I can't really smell it. I'm a good sniffer. I thought it would be good I red. Smells a, smells a little fruity. Uh, it smells it like rich mahogany. A, it doesn't have a strong smell at all. Leather bound books. If you tilt it, you can kind of catch it some more. Get your snaz all the way in it. No, that's not how you do. But it's still not very like, over powerful. Oh no. What happened? You got a little something. That's all right. Well, okay. some, some. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't have an overpowering smell by no means, but we'll give her a go. Hopefully these floaties are fine. I'm sure it is. If not, it's fine too. Wait, let's salute. There's been yeah, no clean like okay. There it is. I got one. I got you one. It's not how you taste. <laughs> what? Come up right in there. You need to breathe. What? I'm tasting it. I want you to taste first, then you can chug all you oh. want. Actually, taste it a little bit. Oh my god. <laughs> that's uh when you slurp that it means it's good that's for ramen in like japan that's not all uh, anything in japan i know these things that's a Where'd good you go? to japan uh -huh. okay i was really expecting like a punch of flavor just like so strong and it's not it's, it's very very lacking. lacking so lacking. it is it's I don't taste any of the things that you talked about. That's what I'm saying. Like, the lime beer off-brand cheap shit that I was drinking earlier has more flavor than this. It had more salt oh, than this. I thought this. you were talking about mine from last week. It's definitely salty. It's got that going for it's it. It's got a weird kick to it. it why is it so sap? Like, it's sour. That's a, that's a goza. That's, that's yeah. the goza. That's the salt part. That, that I can get. The saltiness is there, but the I was expecting so much more of these fruit flavors to come through. Go ahead, go through your pros and cons. Oh, no, I'm just going to say I'd give it like a like a 5 out of 10. It's not terrible, but it's not it's not been one of the better ones we've had out of the, the ones we've had so far. Uh, it is, it's, it's got like a weird bite to it at first, and then there is no flavor after that. It, it already tastes flat. It's heavy. Mm -hmm. and I'm just, yeah, I, I don't know what I expected. I expected more fruit flavor, I guess, with all the, you know, things you guys were reading off. I really, really don't, it, I don't just, taste it just disappears. Yeah, it just disappears. It's for I, a second while it's in your mouth. If. Yeah, I, I, it's uh, it's gonna be a no for me. What about you? Pro pros. Whoa. Oh, okay. Whoa. Pros are, it it is crisp. It's refreshing, almost like a, uh, almost like a seltzer, water. That's it. Definitely doesn't have enough carbonation to be I'm a seltzer. Done. Yeah, you're right. You're, so, you're shooting nah. right. Ooh, something sizzling over there. Um, I never want to be the person that's just straight up like disappear. Unless you just absolutely <gasps> hummingbirds are here. Yes, <laughs> it's awesome. Was. Yes, that's y'all's fault. You gotta be a hummingbird feeder. Um, so I don't want to diss it completely because it, maybe it is. If, if I could find a, <laughs> if I could find a, a can buy date, maybe that's a. Oh, here we go. Uh, well, still it was it was can buy um seven. So what? Uh, it's July. July 2219. It's not too terribly old for it to now, what is lose your... its carbonation, but still, maybe that's what the problem is. Maybe it was sitting out before we got it. Maybe the people didn't show it right. I don't know. Because I would not I would expect better from them. And I hate I hate dissing anybody, so I'm not gonna like completely shut them down unless it was completely no, terrible. No, but, no, but um it, I'm gonna based off it's... this set, I wouldn't go out of my way to buy it again. But if someone gave it to me again and it was better, you drink it. Yeah, or maybe I got it out of the keg. Maybe I go to the go to the brewery and have some. I wonder if off tap it's a whole different game. Well, we we've, we've realized with some of the beers we've had before that 
so much better on tap mm -hmm. than when we had mm -hmm. it in person or in can or bottles. So. <sighs> We got going on over there, huh? I got some chicken. Yeah, no, barbecue chicken. chicken. Oh, no. this, this would pair well with beer brats, barbecue chicken, chicken and beer brats. Oh, it's bulked up. <laughs> kind of turns me on and makes me hungry all at the same time. <sighs> You're welcome. Yeah. <laughs> Like it, I like you the way, what I get. I like, <laughs> I like the way you had your sausage. It's, uh... Oh, yeah. So, for me, let me get another taste. <laughs> Oof. Yeah? Yeah, see? Tell us more. That's usually not my thing. Hmm. It is making me, like, I, I, would, I got a burp, too. I'm going to refrain. Oh, see, there's the dogs. So, oh, there came, just kidding. the saltiness is good. Yeah. Love the saltiness. Always love salt. <laughs> I don't get the quinoa. Why they put that in there, I don't get that at all. Maybe that brought out something. Definitely wasn't the fruit, because I feel like you <laughs> no put too much fruit in there, and it kind of canceled everything out. Because I don't taste the fruit whatsoever. Mm -hmm. It's, <clears throat> whenever you first, <laughs> whenever you first take a drink of it, you get that little bit of tangle in your tongue, then it's instantly gone. Mm -hmm. I, maybe it's the salt that's killing that, I don't really know. Saltiness is good. I'm I'm with Diego on this. Five out of ten. That was a huge bummer, actually. Yeah, yeah. I was so excited. Yeah. Good pick, I had Cruz. Lots of for it. <laughs> hey, yeah, great success. So far, so three shows. Yep. Three beers. Yep. And so far, word. I think I've had the best pick. No. Oh come on. I'm partial to that one we had last week only because of because you picked. No, no. Oh. <laughs> no, 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 no. It, it, it was just it, it reminded me of the Mexican lager, so I, yeah, of course I drank it all. So don't get that, but I didn't get that either. But I like I like the IPA for craft beer and the craft. Rosa, but I think this one is the best one so far because I picked it. No, no, the saison yeah. has been the good. best so far, and it was the prettiest can, and I picked it. This is the prettiest can. I'm gonna give this the prettiest can award because. These lokes are so dark sometimes. <laughs> I can't see. Uh, you guys go to the website, www.theasylum.productions. That's going to take you to everything that we do. Uh, the, uh, gosh, I just blanked out. Asylum, <laughs> the Asylum Radio Show coming back very, very soon on Hellfire Radio. Uh, Inked and Chattered on YouTube. Also this show, Brews with Diego and Cruz. <laughs> oh, God, karate. <laughs> I need a Super 8 Goza to save me. It's that pineapple right there. I'll uh, drown you with boredom. <laughs> also, yeah, th this show as well. Uh, concert news. There's still a few concerts left out there to, that, that might be able to happen uh, in my deepest of hearts. I don't think those will happen, but whatever. It's on the website, theasylum.productions. Go to it uh, if you want to hit up our Patreon as well while you're there. Uh, 3 5 and $10 donations. Come a Patreon. Get all the extra swag. Uh, we have decals now we have stickers we have um fuck we have a whole page of of, of, of merch just mm -hmm. on the website right there that's right i, I constantly <laughs> forget about that um and then yeah also we'd like to welcome to the family our brand new sponsor for this show uh, mvk photography uh right there out of knoxville tennessee uh, i think it's gonna wrap it up for us today short sweet to the point all right anything else got anything to say I wouldn't recommend this beer. <laughs> <laughs> Me Do neither. not recommend. <laughs> Me neither. Uh, I'll get back to y'all if I find it somewhere else. Say goodbye, better. novella. Goodbye, novella. Cheers.